Minas Gerais Police Chase Luminous Beings in Claudio August 29, 2019 Credit, OVNI Magazine Search by Edison Boventure Jr. Ufologist Paulo Baracchi Werner Ufologist and Journalist The case that we will report below had as its stage the city of Claudio, in Minas Gerais and is not so recent, since it occurred in November 2008 Although local newspapers published about it at the time, however, Unprecedented information about this invasion of UFOs appeared in the year 2019 and the official preliminary report was unveiled in 2015, proving the unusual episode. After all, cases involving UFO crew are always and will be hidden from the public by the military. This is already standard and often provided in the regulations of these corporations. But time goes by and slowly, incredible details emerge, thanks to field research conducted by tireless researchers thus demonstrating the truth of the facts for the society. On February 23, 2019, a team from UFO Research magazine was in the city of Claudio collecting new data, information, interviewing civilian and military witnesses and visiting the sites of the facts. Remembering how the invasion began it all started around 10 p.m. on a Wednesday night, November 19, 2008, just before Brazil's match against Portugal, when from her apartment, Mrs. Renata Veloso Gurk Austriaco spotted a hexagonal light object accompanied of two other spherical flying objects that rotated under its orbit. As the UFO approached the Nossa Senhora Aparecida Church, the streetlights of the Bella Vista neighborhood had a blackout, extinguishing block by block. From that moment, several Claudineses began to observe the strange lights flying over the city and arriving to land in the countryside, along the MG260 highway. Renata who is the wife of C.L. Dios PM platoon commander, caught the eye of Captain Eisenhower Gurk Austriaco, who saw the same phenomenon for a few minutes, then called the police station, Corporal Sirio Barbosa de Oliveira and determined that the car made up of a military Corporal Hamilton Joes Ribello, Soldier Herberton Francisco and Soldier Balbino, moved to Avenida Bella Vista slash Valongo. One of the smaller objects was silver, and the other flying device was red, incandescent iron and sometimes changed color. At one point, the captain called a neighbor, who lived on the sixth floor of the building, Mrs. Irma de Fima Rodriguez Santos who began to observe the same phenomena. Subsequently, a collection of her statement was made to attach to the process of the Laudio case. Commander Eisenhower Austriaco commanded that military action from his apartment window for several hours. Cable photographed UFO in December 2008, just after Corporal Hamilton Joes Ribello joined the reserve. Three UFO photographs taken on the first night of observation were published on the Afovia portal http www.viafamzine.jor.br slash site underscore vf slash ufovia slash index htm, by editor and researcher Pepe Chaves, also bringing an interview with that military man who revealed other details of the action taken. He said he went to a place called Sobrado, near the city's industrial park where residents claimed they would have seen a strange light standing in the middle of the scrub. He was in the car, he, Private Balbino, Private Francisco and Private Renato. The military spotted the UFO on the right side of the road. According to him, very strong light of yellow and white colors that made the right direction shift from our position. We now follow the light on the MG260 highway going from the city of Claudio to the city of Divinolis. We approached the alcohol distillery, entered a sugarcane plantation for 500 meters and arrived at a protective fence. We got off the car. We saw an oval-shaped, rectangular-shaped perched object, the size and appearance of a wheelless minibus, emitting white light, like a xenon headlight. This light came out of an opening that cut through the middle of that object. Then he went up until we lost sight of him. When the police considered getting into the car to return to the police station, the driver, Soldier Balbino, warned everyone to look, as the UFO had returned, stopping just above it. The ship made circular motions and then disappeared again. Before the disappearance, however, Corporal Ribello took three photos of the UFO with his Sony Cyber, Shot 7.2 megapixel camera. Surprises in the preliminary report. Many comments were made in the city in subsequent days, including other sightings of mysterious lights in the region. This UFO wave lasted about three days, with residents still reporting observations until Friday, November 21st. On November 30, 2015, the UFO research co editor, Edison Boventure JIR, officially requested to the Seattle Dio police station 
through protocol number 01200000082015881, the UFO's official report, occurrence report and photographs, being answered in his request on December 10, 2015, according to an email signed by Sergeant Alessandro Cunha. This four-page preliminary report, dated December 8, 2008, was addressed to the commander of the 23rd BPM by Commander Eisenhower Girk Austriaco and brings shocking news about the case. We transcribe part of the report on page 2 below, and November 19th and 20th we had an experience, along with several other military and people we met and interviewed about lights that flew over the city, as well as small humanoid beings who were chased by the Mitsubishi 13,533 car at about 20 km per hour through the planted reeds. These seen humanoids seemed to slide through the reeds. In all actions of this officer, several armed military accompanied the various moments of the phenomena. In one moment, we were in 03 vehicles. A lady from the ant village opening the door of her house would have seen little beings in her backyard and also saw a glowing iron-colored object standing in the air behind Eucalyptus about half a mile away, pointing this officer's beret to be the shape of the object seen. Objects flew at untold speed and stopped as if there were no limits to physics, simply stopping suddenly. Objects curved at angles of 90 degrees or less shifted forward and backward. Will light beings the most important part of the report is when the commander and two sergeants undertake a persecution of sighted beings. In the report it is written, he greatest of all experiments took place on the night of November 20, 2008, when after three objects disappeared at incredible speed, we returned this officer, Sergeant William and Sergeant Waldir through the sugarcane fields of the Aspento village. We saw two luminous beings, about three feet tall gliding through the reeds. We were in the Mitsubishi pickup truck on a back road when Sergeant Williams saw something in the woods. He turned car 13,533 toward the luminous beings. As we approached 15 or 20 meters, they began to slide between the reeds. We were about 20 kilometers per hour and these continued forward and to the right. It was noticeable that these things walked without touching the ground. We saw no feet, no toes, but we saw arms, legs, and oval heads and though they were bright, they did not illuminate. The report goes on to state that Sergeant Waldir Arao Silva tried to photograph the beings but did not appear in the camera. Sergeant William Alchoni Alves da Silva was glimpsed by the apparition, as it appears in this same report. The report goes on, had we saw seemed to put or remove something from the earth, as if they were scientists. They seemed to control what we thought, they left our body tired and unable to think strategically and tactically. The feeling is that we are in a situation of not defining what is reality, what is dream and what is nightmare, and everyone felt and saw the same thing. After this experience we all had a headache, anxiety and couldn't stop thinking and commenting on what we saw. The urge to drink water stood out, and what seemed like 40 minutes actually was 2 or 3 hours. The commander closes the report by writing, Several people report the same lived experiences as us military personnel and we will interview these people. Some narrate warm air entering the home. The vehicles are having electrical problems. Mitsubishi does not get right. The military who saw and had more contact seem distressed. We are all psychologically or physically different, more tired, sleepy. There are reports of people who felt levitating. I will undertake a study of this on my own. Corporal Rabella reported and presented photos that he was able to take in his sightings with his camera. B.O.s were made about the initial fact, which is on file in this military police fraction. Revelations in new cable interview in 2019. We interviewed Kate Rabello again at his residence and his whole story was confirmed. And in this new conversation some details were added. For example, before we came across the two-story wheelless minibus UFO, we going down the road and met a boy in a Passat and he came from the doctor with his mother from Oliveira and he gave face with the light. I was very scared and standing in the ravine, aide Corporal Rebello. He said that he was not approached by a friend named Bier who was fishing on the same day of his observation, around 23.40 hours when he saw a larger and two smaller flying objects flush across the water, even causing the surface to sway. From the lagoon, Bier was very scared of that phenomena. In one part of the interview he said he was visited the next day by Air Force military men who were interested in the details of his sighting. He next day, I was off duty and came military personnel from Lagoa Santa Air Base, Belo Horizonte and interviewed me, asked me to draw the object and asked the machine card to copy the photos. They deleted the photos, 
including my personal photos. They handed me the reset card. They said that what I had seen was artificial gas burning. So I questioned that natural phenomenon does not maneuver as that object did. But that's why. My luck is that I had downloaded the photo card to my home computer, E said. During the interview, he said that other similar cases have occurred in the region at various times. In February 1996, he was spotted by police officers and he was also a witness to a UFO similar to that spotted by his friend BR. On this occasion, the phenomenon turned off the electrical part of the vehicle and the communication radio was muted. Cases of beings are not so uncommon in the city either. He said that in the year 2009, Mr. Toniko who lives in Kaudo saw these beings that shone with the same characteristics that Commander Eisenhower observed. There were three beings, and one of them was picking something on the floor. A Milton Ribello concluded by saying that he always dreams of the same phenomenon and that recently he was in his brother-in-law's field at night and saw a high light that even illuminated the stairs. He became apprehensive and decided to leave the place as soon as the day dawned. ERY intensive white light civilian witnesses recalled their sightings corroborating the facts and adding more information to the testimonies collected by military police. CL Dia Alves, a civil servant, told about her observation accompanied by her husband on the MG 260 highway, in the Sobrato neighborhood. He actually saw a bright object with a very intense white light, but it didn't hurt the view. He walked ahead of us on the highway at about 9 p.m. as we were returning from Mass on a Friday. As long as we saw that object, more or less in the clover, it always went straight ahead until we arrived at the entrance of our residence in front of the industrial park. When we got home we went upstairs where there is a balcony to see if we could see again, but we didn't see anything anymore. The object disappeared more or less near the airport, aid Claudia. We interviewed the painter Regi Marx Padilha who saw moments before the same phenomenon photographed by Cabo Ribello. He was accompanied by his mother, a parachita de Fatima dos Santos Padilha, and said, in November 19, 2008, I was returning from the city of Carmo da Mata with my mother, and I saw the light. It was 9.44 p.m. when I saw that on the side of the road. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I passed 20 feet from a light so bright it looked like a small sun. It was the size of a truck, a minibus. It made no noise, just floated. I saw the reed shine, because it was a very bright light. It looked like it had fire inside very strange color. I didn't stop the car and drove on, intersecting with the police car. Then we learned about the case and had even given it to the police, and the town filled with ufologists. They even did a story on the Afovia website. Final conclusions The UFO research field research team has come back aware that there are more important details to reveal. On February 25, 2019 we requested, through SIC, Citizen Information Service, for Comair, Aeronautics Command, responsible for Lagoa Santa Air Base, in Belo Horizonte, MG, the report, the sketch and the photos of the this happened in Claudio. Now we just wait for the response of this body to our protocol number 605020004992019444. Will we have news of this invasion or will our Brazilian Air Force continue to cover the facts in that mining city? This is a question that doesn't want to shut up.